Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel right here on this YouTube channel. You know, the one that you're on. We talk about all things financial services related. Specifically, comp plans, IMOs, recruiters. You know the recruiters I'm talking about all the time. The recruiters that actually never sell anything and they read from a book and they try to tell you to do something they're not willing to do themselves. That's what we talk about on this channel, plus a lot more. Hey, listen, welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you. I'm grateful that you're here. Um, I, listen, I try to get on here as much as I possibly can. We're working on some, very, some special things now, which will give me some more time and free up some more time to spend more time giving to all of you out there because I get a ton of emails and phone calls and texts all week long. Uh, from all of you that, uh, that come to this channel, do me a favor here. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. There's a button down here on the right. Mash that uh, uh, su subscribe button. Hit the bell, and you'll get instant notifications when I do live streams. And uh, that would be fantastic. But more importantly, hey, listen, uh, YouTube is telling us, and you hear me say it a lot recently, uh, you know, as you know, it's a very competitive market, but we need to get the word out. I've got a lot of people that say, hey, Steve, I like your videos because, you know, you're a no-nonsense kind of guy. You talk about the things that other people aren't willing to talk about. Uh, you expose a lot of uh, 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 things in the industry that, again, no one's talking about. And I really just want to say that I'm thankful that I found you. Um, I'm with somebody else. Can't leave. Whatever. That's great. This is not, a, not designed to be a... Um, a recruiting type channel, right? That's why I don't mention anybody's names in terms of uh, other IMOs or even the one that I'm with at all here on this channel because I'm trying to get information out. If there's an opportunity uh, for us to work together and we have a conversation, great. Uh, but really it's about making sure that you make a better decision going in because getting out that's why I started this channel. is very, very difficult. Okay, so that's the point. If you uh, if you feel good about that, give me that thumbs up because YouTube is telling us that the thumbs up is everything in terms of people seeing our channel. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all engagement. Hopefully, you'll like the content and you'll uh, you'll subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, make a comment, and be a part of what we're doing here. Uh, and look, I, I've got a lot of stuff going on, going uh, uh, this year that I think you're going to be happy with. We've launched our Agent Success Academy uh, for our own agents and our own team, but we're going to be doing some stuff for all the YouTube people as well. Uh, all of you folks to really. Try to give you something that you're not getting right now, which is really a, an in-depth, focused 12-step program to teach you the skill sets that you need to learn to be successful in this industry. And it's not recruiting, okay? It's, it, we sell insurance. That's what we do here, right? And most people are charged for that stuff. We're not charging for anything. But look, the reason why I want to do this video today is I've had a couple of conversations, and this has been going on for months, and it really, it's, uh, it's a huge concern to me because the word's not getting out. The number one question that I get day in, day out, seven days a week, vacation, off vacation, doesn't matter. I, you, you, all of you reach out to me night and day, and that's great. I appreciate that. I love the engagement. Is hey, Steve, what's the best IMO? And I've tried to cover this multiple times on several different videos, and it doesn't seem to really be getting out there. Okay, you can do all the research you want to do on IMOs. All, here's the thing. The title of the video is best IMO, question mark, wrong recruiter right and that's the point is all you should consider the imos but hear me on this most of the imos are not in the business of training people there are certain things that the imos bring to us as agents that's important to our success but in my opinion after 30 plus years what's really going to change your career as it did mine is someone that's going to teach you the skills necessary to succeed in this business, right? And I've outlined some of those skills before. And that person's got to be available. Look, all these IMOs build their companies by recruiting agents. And some support those agents, others don't. But none of them really are in the business of giving you that what I call ground level support day to day, case by case, in home you know, before, during, and after the sale, really a time-tested, proven system that will teach you, that, you know, over, you know, your six months to a year, 
you know, even 90 days if you're doing a lot of activity, the skills that you can use for a lifetime. They, they do things on, like I say, 30,000 feet in the air because so many agents come into this business. Some are licensed, some are not licensed. Some are licensed but haven't done anything in years. You know, everybody needs training that's really designed for themselves, right? That's what I'm talking about, that ground level support and training. Uh, that the IMOs, un, you know, really aren't in the business to do, right? Some are horrible at it. Ours are very good at get, providing that kind of training on a global basis all throughout the week, back office training, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, you know, what I find to be the most successful is, you know, myself, Angela, you know, the girls in the office here working with our agents you know, day to day, case by case, teaching you the skills, going through the phone script, going through product selection, getting you prepared for the case, sending you out in the home with a plan of action, you know, things that, you know, three or four options to discuss, calling from the home, you know, all hours of the day to kind of help you uh, in the home, you know, provide those options to the client. Uh, do a presentation, get their questions answered, and write the business. That's what we're there for, right? This is not a follow-up business. But then, so uh, again, going back to what this the video is all about, all IMOs have recruiters. You could be with the best IMO, but the wrong recruiter, right? The guy that is just simply because again, they're the IMOs are looking to add agents to their to their companies to grow their IMO, to grow their business. That's their business model, right? And they and, and everybody's a ten under nine independent contractor. They really can't control you know people that are in the business just to recruit, to get rich quicker, the MLMers. They all have those things. Some promoted some ha that is their business plan and you can take you can find that out by looking at their comp plan if they require you to recruit in order to advance or get promoted that's an uh, mlm type organization and they're going to have mlmers in there because that's what they do but there are other imos that may not force you to recruit in order to advance but they've got the mlmers in there because they're all over the place to be honest with you people that are looking to make a buck off your back you know they don't want to leave from the front. They don't want to. They don't want to sell any insurance. They get their license simply to override, and you become their mill ticket for your production, right? So all IMOs have recruiters, and that's their business plan: is to recruit and match. They've never sold anything, and many of them never plan on ever selling anything. They're total MLMers, meaning they have. You know they've been they've been brought in to recruit, 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 and don't get those three things out of order. Their thought process is: if I recruit people in mass I do zip recruit or I do LinkedIn or I do Craigslist or I put a flyer to laundry mat it doesn't make any difference if I recruit in mass some will some won't so what if I keep dumping them in some of them are gonna are gonna fall out right and it's only a matter of time before they make me some money and if I do enough of that I'll be rich right while never putting the uniform on, never getting in the car, never never making a call to a lead, you know, never never trying to you know force myself to learn the phone script, to choose their products, to do you know prepare for a case, go get in the car, drive an hour and a half, go out there and sit in the home that I'm not comfortable being in, right? All those things they've never done any of that, and they don't have any plans of doing any of that. They want you to do it, right? Because they because they, you are their meal ticket, as I always say. You either gonna build your dreams, right? or someone's going to build their dreams off your back. And that's really kind of what I'm talking about. Well, you know, for some that may work. It, you know, in my 30 plus years of experience, I found most people don't want to be anybody's meal ticket. And you lose all respect from people when they find out that you're asking or requiring, in many cases, based on that MLM comp plan, that MLM structure, to recruit a bunch of people so you can be promoted. That, you know, that you've never really sold, selling any insurance, you never put that uniform on, right? You're only recruiting people so that you can get promoted based on your own production, right? You understand that. That's the way it works, right? Look, all they need is an insurance license in order to make money off your back. They don't have to do it themselves. They don't have to go into the homes. They don't have to get a little dirty and gain some experience by pushing through the obstacles that we all deal with as agents. They don't do any of that. They gotta pass a test to get their insurance license and they get their recruiter's manual and they're they're banging out numbers, you know, knowing that if I keep doing this, some people are gonna stick, like I said, and some people will make me rich, right? They simply have to learn how to read a how to sell insurance recruiters how to get rich quick book, right? Well, that was a long one. How to sell insurance recruiters how to get rich quick book.
and then read it out loud to you over the phone. They don't understand what it says. They don't, they've never done it. You know, part of becoming a good agent is getting in the home and learning how to build that like, no trust relationship with the client. So their book knowledge doesn't get it done for me as an agent, and it won't get it done for you as an agent, and they certainly can't teach you the successful tips or skills necessary to be in the home. They can only read you a book that someone wrote that probably didn't sell insurance either, right? They don't have a clue, right? They plug you into a bunch of videos they found online or have been given to give to you, and they tell you to go, 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 and that's how it works. But here's the problem. If you sign with an IMO who offers very little or no training or support, many of those MLM type IMOs won't even allow you to call the home office. Again, they force that MLM structure and they refer you right back to your upline who you may not be able to get on the phone, who may not know anything about selling insurance, right? They, they're reading from a book. If you get them on the phone, they're probably long gone. They, they've already moved on and probably told you that they are, they've moved on. Don't call me. Go sell some insurance. I need to go out there and find your replacement right? I mean, some of you have heard that. Look, no one wants to be an upline, downline, sideline of anything, right? I don't, I don't want to be downline from nothing, right? Especially someone that their only purpose is to sell you an opportunity that they don't feel good enough themselves about to actually learn how to do the business and leave from the front and then consider building an agency. Nothing wrong with building an agency, but there's a lot wrong with building an agency when you're not willing to do the work yourself in my opinion. They're just opportunists. They're looking to take advantage of people while they hang out with their wife and their kids and their friends out on the beach or on the boat, on the lake, while you're running appointments, trying to support your family and learning those skills, pushing in even harder to, to push through the obstacles to be a successful agent. They can't relate to that because they've never done it. They're on the beach, right? Their skill set is recruiting people. Right, many of you, and I mean many of you, send me texts, emails, you call me, and the number one question is again is, hey Steve, what is the best IMO? And I've spent a great deal of time talking about this, but I keep getting the questions, and I just want to do again another video to just kind of lay it out. You know, this is not going to go away, it's part of our industry, right? But I can tell you, that question, I'll tell you 100% of the time. It's not that easy, but sometimes it depends on what you're looking for, right? It's an individual decision, and that's the first thing. But asking me what the best IMO is is not the only thing you should be asking. Why? It's simple, because I get calls all the time from agents that are with, in my opinion, a good IMO. Maybe you're not with the best, but you're with the top three or four. Even in my IMO, we had those type of people, the ones that are not leading from the front by putting on the uniform and going out to the battlefield to protect families and to fight for their own personal independence, right? So it's really a two-part question. First, you got to find a mentor and coach that has experience, that's leading from the front, that has evidence of success, that has a system of teaching you the skills required to succeed in this business that can and will help you get started, work with you one-on-one -on, -one on critical areas, such as phone script, plus session, in-home help, being able to call from the home 24 seven, so you can get that application, get that family protected, and have a chance to get paid. That's an urgent phone call, because this is not a follow-up business, right? So first, you need to find that person, then investigate the IMO that they're with, and see what they offer, right? Usually, if you find that mentor and coach, they made a good choice. Not always. Sometimes they're stuck too, right? So it's important that you know what the IMO should bring to you as an agent, right? Do they offer leads? Do they have a fair contract that you can start at 70, 80, 90? Not the highest contract, because a lot of times with the highest contract, you're also missing out on something, right? Remember the old console? Some of you don't remember that. The eight-track tape player, the turntable, right? They try to put it all in one box, and sometimes you're, just, you're definitely missing something, which is the quality of the music, right? So high contracts, the biggest head fake in this industry, because usually high contract, they're leaving something out, like they don't have technology, or they don't have a lease program, they, and they spin it to where they're doing you a favor. Oh, we don't sell you any leads. We just give you a list of all these third-party vendors and you get to go find your leads and you get to you know, find out the cost of them and, and waste a bunch of money figuring out which ones work and which ones don't work. That's how they spin it, right? So you want to have a fair contract and be able to get advanced 
based on nothing more than your own production, to a top contract, right? Being promoted without recruiting. Or both, do they have carriers for all types of prospects? Which means you need to have term, a lot of term, whole life, a lot of whole life carriers, and guaranteed issue, so you're not walking in right from business. Do they have a back office? Do they have a dashboard technology so you can track your business and your commissions? Let me just take a step back here for a second because I want to make sure you understand having a lead program is important. Doesn't mean you that, that's the only place you should get leads. All top producers have multiple lead sources, but if your IMO has and owns their own lead program, that means you have a resource initially as a new agent. Go get leads. They're usually co op and they control the quality and the quantity, and usually there's no commitment to buy any leads at all, right? You buy as needed or you don't buy at all, right? Can you build your own agency, right? But are not required to or held back, right? On your promotions until you do. Do they have a world-class compensation package, which includes bonuses, profit sharing that they pay you monthly on your share, right? Not down the road somewhere when they go public or whatever, but profit sharing that you can qualify for on a monthly basis. Equity, profit sharing, cash in your bank account. Do they offer top contracts? Can I get promoted to a top contract based on what I bring to the IMO, whether it's me or my and my team, right? It's all about premium, not who you know comp plan, where it is who you know that gets those promotions, not what you do. You want a fair and equitable comp plan that everybody can qualify for. Please be sure to ask the right questions. Get the documentation showing the promotion guidelines. Don't just take the word for it of that IMO. And just as equally important, interview the recruiter. Find out their experience. Find out what they feel the most important things are, right? That you need to learn. And how are they going to teach you those to you? How are you going to learn them? And listen, right? Are they going to teach you? Or are they going to plug you into this fictitious system out there somewhere? And you can watch a bunch of videos and webinars and, you know, God bless you and call me when you make me some money, right? There's a difference. You got to be listening, right? Will they be able to talk to you before, during, and after your appointments? Talk to some of their producers to confirm that they keep their word after you sign up. Of course, we can also talk and see if you're in an area where we're interested in bringing you on board and putting you through our extensive Agent Success Academy, which of course only gets you ready for the field. And then the real training starts, which is ongoing for the entire time you're with us. And that's the way it should be, right? You can't learn this business in a month or two months or three months. You can learn the basics. You can learn what a day in the life of a mortgage agent or finance agent looks like, right? But I'm still learning. I've been doing this forever, right? So you want to have someone that's always going to be there that's got your back on a case, even when you learn the basis. Maybe you can do 90% of the cases on your own right now or after that 90-day orientation period. But there's that 5% that you want to consult with somebody because, again, it's all about getting it from submission to commission. We've always seen this here uh, in our agency as a business partnership, not a sign-up deal, okay? Sign-up deals is for the recruiters. Okay, sign a bunch up and they'll make you some money or somebody will, right? You can see at the bottom of the video here just what our agents go through when we take them on as partners. And of course, as you've always heard me say, we sell insurance here. <laughs> Angela makes a joke out of it. What do we do? We sell insurance. And we keep that as our mission statement. We don't charge for training or anything other than the leads if you choose to buy them. And we co-op those as well, right? Meaning you're getting a discount. We're in for as much as you're in. And we have a free lead cash program that you can qualify for as well. Again, it's a partnership to us, but we're not a fit for everybody that takes a conversation, and this is not a recruiting video. All I'm saying is that's how we operate, and in my opinion, that's what you're looking for. But I'm willing to help any of you by comparing your options, which I do pages every single week. I hope you've seen some value in it. You've taken a checklist. I've got a, a sheet with the 10 or 12 questions on it that you should ask every single IMO, every single recruiter that you're interviewing with. That's for free. The link is in the description. I don't sell nothing, remember? And listen, if you got value, give me that big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Make a comment. And listen, I appreciate you part of the channel. And as always, you know what I say all the time is the surest way to succeed this business is to never, ever quit. Doesn't mean you won't fail. Failing must be an option, but quitting can never be an option because if you quit, you're quitting on your own business. 
What are you going to do? Go get a job? <laughs> no. Job's not for me. Never has been. I want to control my life. I want to own my income. I don't want to rent it. And for all of you who have been furloughed during this COVID thing, you should know that. And if you're back out there looking for a job right now, shame on you because if you've been furloughed from a job that was taken away from you, not by your own means, not really even by the company you worked for, but by our federal and state governments, you know very clearly that you do not control your future unless you can put on a uniform, make a dial, book an appointment, go see a family, go help that family, give them some protection by writing an application and get paid in 24 to 36 hours because I can do that and we did it all through this COVID situation because we were considered essential. Our income didn't go down. Our agents were not unemployed. In fact, our numbers went up and they made more money because of the demand for life insurance. This is the greatest industry on the planet and it's time for you to stop running back to the job and figuring out how to join this industry, get it with the right person, call me up on the phone, let's talk about it. And even if you need to get a job temporarily, you better understand that going back to the same thing that you just came from will eventually happen to you again. So it's time to put this business in a spare time, part time, and then eventually a full time slot in your life so it never ever happens to you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. because if you quit, you're quitting on your own business. What are you going to do? Go get a job? <laughs> no. Job's not for me. Never has been. 